Hey there, welcome to another ICOM ICR20 communications receiver video and this is uh, in a series of how to hook up your radios to your computer. Okay, you've seen the first video maybe about what you need to hook up. Maybe you've seen the second video showing you how to actually hook it up. Now comes the part of how to set up properly and know the information you need for your computer to talk with your radio. Um, many times when people uh, hook up their radios they uh, have doesn't work and they don't know why and it's very often a mismatch between the information in the radio and the computer settings because the communication between your radio and your computer is done in what we call a serial port. Serial ports are actually um, very sensitive to the settings. Both the radio and the computer needs to have the same type of information, the same speed and you do need some information to make this work well on the CIV uh, connector of your uh, ICOM. So first thing you need to know and you'll need a piece of paper and a pen because you'll need some information that will be uh, very important when you start installing uh, control radio control software on your computer. First thing you'll need to know is what's the COM port of my computer and so I'll show you here on my computer how to uh, get that info um, it might be a little different on yours but basically you need to go to the control panel if you already know how to go to the control panel you're halfway there uh, if you don't know where the control panel is on your computer then I'll show you how I go to mine but you might need to have find it a little more on, depending on the system you have so what I do is I click on the start button and I go I have control panel available right here I just click on it in my control panel I actually go to system and there's device manager that's what you need to have is the device manager right here the device manager is the place where you've got all your computer hardware information what you need to do is find the little section called ports com and help et and at the left of it there's a little arrow you'll click and here you can see it tells me prolific USB to serial COM port and it says COM4 that's the information I want and that's what you need to find out COM what COM port is your computer using uh, mine's COM4 yours could be COM2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 uh, it depends on the setup of your computer and the way things are set up uh, if it's a, a USB to serial like me or if it's a, a native serial port that's already in your computer so the first information you'll note on your piece of paper is the COM port so in my case I'll note COM4 for my information now two other informations are needed <clears throat> one is the speed at which your radio and your computer are going to talk together. The other one is what we call the CIV address which is the address that needs to be used in the software to access your ICOM radio. Where do you get these two information? Well you get it in your radio. What you'll need to do is press and hold the set key which is number eight and you'll need to go down try to prove a little here you'll need to go down to Okay, if you're at the top, for example, here, you'll need to go down to CIV, which is at the bottom of the menu. One information, you, if you cannot go back down to CIV or you don't see it, make sure that in your set expand menu, you are on. If it's off, you cannot see the settings that we need to have. So put it at on to make sure you have all the settings available. Now, you go down to 
the address. Now, CIV address. A quick press on the number 8 or the set key. And it says 6C. CIV address 6C. You need to note that on your piece of paper. So now you should have your COM port and a CIV address of 6C for the radio. Now you'll get out of that menu by pressing the dual watch. You'll go back into the settings menu by pressing and holding the 8 key. And you'll go on baud rate, do a quick press for baud rate. I will uh, tell you there are some different baud rates here. Put it at 19,200 which is the fastest communication speed of the radio and leave it there. Don't put it on automatic. Sometimes it doesn't work. Automatic stuff on computers, sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't. And you don't want to have that, it does it work, does it, or it doesn't work, or I don't know exactly. You want to make sure settings are right. So just put your little arrow next to 19,200 bots per second. And then you'll press the dual botch button uh, to get out of the menu. And you're set up to install a piece of software now. Um, make sure that everything is all right. Uh, to set up your piece of software, we'll have a video for that with different pieces of software. But basically what you now have on your piece of paper is what is your COM port, in my case COM4, what is the CIV address for this radio, 6C. And finally, what is the baud rate? And you should have set the baud rate at 19,200 baud per second. That's the first thing. Now, one little quirk that you need to work out on your computer is how to get the sound out of the radio into your computer. If you've watched on how to hook up your ICOM radio, you know that there's another extra cable that plugs in to the audio microphone jack of your computer. And to make sure that it works, you'll have to go probably play into the settings of your audio on your computer. And to do that, you'll actually, I will press twice on the microphone icon on the bottom right and go into mixer and there you've got the devices and sound you will need to actually add your input so um, you need to have the microphone jack input in my case it's not visible because it's not installed right so I can't show you but you should have microphone in that list here and in the microphone you make sure you're not in the mute mode and make sure that you're not in um, uh, that your volume level is also high enough so that you can hear usually when you're set up right what happens is that your computer um, once your radio is turned on and the audio works you should actually hear the audio from your scanner or your communications receiver your ICOM radio through your computer speakers and if that is done then you know that you've set it up right <clears throat> you gotta work that before you get the software because there's no way it's not really important to control the radio if you can't hear what you are actually tuning so you really gotta work out these details before you install any types of software to listen to uh, and control your radio. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, this is the way to hook up your ICOM radio. Now we'll go through the next part uh, which is software and controlling the radios and hey keep that piece of paper you should have three little pieces of information there you should have your COM port, you should have your CIV address, and the 19,200 baud rate.
keep it close because on the videos where we show you how to use the software we will actually need you'll need that information to make it work well so uh, hope you enjoyed these videos if you have any comments questions let us know we'll try to answer any questions no stupid there's no stupid questions eh? any question is welcome if you're asking yourself a question don't think that you're alone most of the most of the time lots of other people are actually uh, thinking about the same thing or asking the same question so I uh, hope you enjoyed this series of videos in 73.